Hi, welcome to Self Discovery Support. You possibly clicked on this video because you felt our response or connection to one of the animals in the thumbnails, or you were just curious. Either way, choose the group connected to that animal to receive the related message. If that group doesn't resonate or reflect an aspect of your situation, then feel free to choose another group or pick another reading on the channel. Check the description box for time codes and additional info. And lastly, the deck used in this video may contain adult imagery and should only be viewed if you're 18 plus. So today's guidance card is the Fool. And this is the traditional um, deck. So that's, you know, the classic Fool image. And the card is connected to new beginnings. So that's going to be the kind of theme that drives our reading today. And so I will see you reading, but we have the dove for a choice and for B choice we have the rhino. So I'll give you a minute and then see you in group A. group a so we have the eight of wands page of pentacles and the two of wands coming out for you dove spirit is your animal that was chosen and i like to choose it because it puts me in the kind of the archetypal energy for what we're working with with you and it's important to see like where you're going as well so there's a lot that's come out here um, at first glance, it looks like, okay, this person is having a new start and they're, they're kind of going quickly into this, especially with the dove spirit and the wings. It just makes me feel like you're on your way, you're on your journey. This new beginning is coming in for you or you have already kind of started the ball rolling. Now... The, the, the things that you have in your hidden energy are things that now give me some of your backstory. So we have the Seven of Swords. We have the Queen of Wands. And we have the Nine of Swords. Um, with the King of Pentacles here. Some of you here could either be or are dealing with um, Earth Signs. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or what else do I see here? Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And in particular, I'm seeing Leo and Tor Taurian energy here. Um, Sagittarius energy as well. Aries, yeah, there's just a lot of fiery energy through this. But what I'm feeling is happening for you that have chosen group A is there is a, <clears throat> there's a sense here that this this makes me think of like flying the coop. So this is somebody that is like it, it's just a sense of like freedom. I'm going to freedom and especially with all of this like active energy. I think you could be quite excited about that, uh, about 
moving forward but it doesn't feel like it, it doesn't feel like what does it not feel like there's something that was on the tip of my tongue it's like knowing what you have to do so this is someone who's planning it's like oh yeah okay it's like future you looking at you now and saying okay I know we're gonna have to start over like it's almost feels like you're having to come out of your comfort zone wherever you were um, could be home life could be a relationship it feels like coming out of your comfort zone learning how to it feels like it could be uncomfortable this new stage but I think you're choosing it because it's gonna bring you peace so it's almost like com- it's it's coming out of a situation which has been tricky. I do think that with this seven of swords here, I just think that you haven't you haven't had the freedom to re- really be your full self. Um, or maybe there's something about this this situation or this person connection that you didn't feel you knew everything about it's like i don't know if it's illusions but coming to find out that something is true nine of swords this is i don't know it's just it's not good energy for me it's somebody it can feel like a couple like coupling with somebody trusting yourself with somebody has made you quite anxious quite um i don't know if it's guarded but it's like the person that should have been the person that showed up for you because you do have the king of pentacles and the empress here didn't it's like they didn't or somebody that presented themselves as though they were something that they were not is something that you came to discover yeah yeah okay i see that with this six of pentacles here it feels like a discovery that what you were giving towards was not actually um what you thought it was or something that you had been contributing to for years didn't didn't turn out the way that you the way that you thought it was going to be i don't know how else to say the tower ace of swords yeah it's like learning the truth about a situation and having to face something so it does feel like the with a dove spirit here you are a group that has come out of adversity and it feels like you're now making the choice okay i have to do what is going to bring me peace what's going to bring me just peace of mind is what i'm hearing it's just like peace of mind um i think that you are sending these messages for help like these these calls for help out there that are going to bring in some kind of newness but it's it might be a bit of a sacrifice in a way because you are going to have to set out anew so for some of you it might mean if you're if you know if you live in a house that's already established you might have to you know leave that and start you know a, in a small apartment or something or have a roommate this type of like in a practical sense that's kind of what it it looks it looks like but it doesn't matter because this is this is a, like one foot in front of the other to get to this future self, this plan, the self that can see beyond what is possible and make those plans for yourself. So group A, what I'm seeing is your new beginning is actually bringing in peace of mind. It might not be the new start that you wanted in terms of having everything that you wanted. But I think in terms of moving away from this situation, which seems um, quite deceptive, quite, 
I don't know. It's not putting you in a good space. I think it's you saying, okay, it's better. I think you've had a realization that it's better for you to move forward and focus on the peace. That's like the self-worth coming. It's like choosing yourself and now putting the plans in place. So some of you could be doing that at this moment. You know, you're looking for jobs. You're looking for new places to live. You're leaving behind something. I don't think it's more... I don't see that... It's more like you're going into a new relationship or something like that. It's more like leaving behind what was not good for you. Well, in that case, I think that that is amazing. And I wish you luck with that. So, Dove Spirit gives the message of being peace. Because I think that you're no longer a match for where you're coming from. So, there it is. All right, if this was your reading and you liked it, please do like, comment, or subscribe. And if this wasn't for you, then check out the next group that we're going to do with Rhino Spirit. So take care. Alright, so group B, we have Rhino Spirit. It says overcome any obstacle. And we have the Three of Wands, we have the Hermit, and the King of Swords. Alright, so in this group, it does. there's an energy more of like your new beginning. This full energy. For you is working more as somebody that has had adversity in their past. But I think you're a kind of personality that uh, you could be like a, uh, I'm going to say fire or earth sign. There's just a, a kind of a toughness about you in terms of like you're, you're not going to take it's not like that it's not you're not gonna take adversity you're not not you're not gonna take things lying down it's more like you're gonna keep persevering you're going to keep pushing forward because that's just who you are you have a certain type of um resilience stubbornness about you and about where you want to go and so it's like okay if this is not working out for me then all right i will move on uh, we have five of cups in your um hidden energy so that tells me that you you know you you do have some sadness some regrets and issues in the past that you you do feel could have hindered you you know, it's like dealing with emotions, but not wanting to succumb to that. The star. Okay, so we have, let's see what we have here. We've got the star and the four of cups. Alright, so it's, it feels like disappointments in life. It feels like there's a sense of trying to go for your dreams, but not quite having it work in the way you wanted to have it happen but nobody's gonna keep you down is the essence of what i'm feeling from that 
I think that this situation maybe caused you there's something that you were going after so maybe some situation knight of swords here let's see what else is here queen of swords okay wow okay I think that you could have had yeah for some of you you could have had like tensions or words with somebody um, there's a kind of coolness about the queen of swords maybe you had to tell somebody about themselves <laughs> Yeah, it does feel like, you know, I've had to stand up for myself here, really. Like, I've had to say firmly, these are my boundaries. This is what I don't accept. And just try to create a new situation here because it's this can't continue. So it's more like that seven of wands energy standing up for yourself. You know how, this makes me think of, you know how sometimes you can be in friendships situations relationships and somebody takes your kindness for granted for a long time takes your sweetness for granted and then something happens somebody expresses their truth in a way that makes you really fully realize oh this is how you saw this all this time then no i can't accept this i cannot and it just feels like that was what i'm seeing here i feel like you turned your back on this situation um i think some of you could have been waiting on somebody um how do i phrase that in a better way it's like somebody here is it makes me think of that um so I'm not from the US, but I do, you know, you can't not hear US based phrases. And there's one that I find quite interesting is like, why are you playing in my face? It's kind of like that. So it feels like somebody's playing in your face and you're watching, you're, you're standing there watching, waiting, like, when will this change? When will. And I think that really sent you into a period of wait. Oh wait, hold on. What's happening here? The word gentleman's agreement comes up. Okay, t the term. It feels like, okay, if there's something that was initiated and somebody had... I don't know, like it feels like an agreement between two people and it didn't... It didn't... Something was not honored. There were words. King of Swords though is here. Okay, so actually it feels like this is a match. This is somebody who is your counterpart. The Hermit, you had to really think about this. Virgo energy, Aquarius energy, Libra as well. Hmm. Huh. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, all the earth signs, all the air signs are out here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you and look at these two. You and somebody were, you had some words. The queen to the king here. And the knight as well. So for some of you, it could be three, th two other people that you had this issue with. Or just somebody who said some things you said some things and okay this kind of set the ball rolling but i don't think it's something that i don't think like i don't think you're happy with how things turned out but um i think that you're the person that's gonna say okay i'm not gonna let this get me down i'm gonna move ahead um some of you this just came to me. Some of you could actually be saying, well, all right, This it does feel like whoever you're dealing with was defensive. And it feels like you're saying, uh, I see a bigger picture for this. And so I'm not going to let your defenses stop. Like I'm not going to stop um, the vision that I have for this future. And I, I, it's like I want to say for us, 
I don't know why I want to say for us. I don't know if this is a couple. It does feel like if you're dealing with someone who is also quite stubborn, it does feel like two of you go head to head. And it just feels like, yeah, this person is, does not mince words. And you use your, like your, you use your intellect and your wisdom. And you're like, yeah, it's okay. I see your point, but I just feel like you two are one of a kind. You two are, whoever this is, this is somebody that can go head to head with you. And it does feel like you're saying, I'm not going to back down. Um, why? Let's see why. Yep, two of cups, and this is, I kid you not, this is what came out. I cut the deck in half, two of cups, king of cups, the lovers. All right, so it feels like a lot of tension on the surface, but what's actually there is a lot of love. So there, it feels like on the surface level, there's a lot of arguments, a lot of defensiveness, a lot of words being said, but what's actually the subtext of this situation is the people that are actually coming together believe it or not with all of that energy and to people who are potentially meant to be together and whoever you are for group b it does feel like you could be um scorpio cancel here and we have gemini again but you could be exp you could be like the the root of the reason that you stay around is because you do have love for this person i i don't know if this person does this person know that do they know that because you know i always think the the one thing that the queen of swords can be pacified by is truth honesty and open feeling open open expression yeah so i don't know have you done that have you tried that could that be the full energy so for some of you in this group group b it feels like you're going back into not going back but you're not giving up on a connection or a situation and that's the full energy. For some, it could feel like, am I being an idiot here with this? Um, but I don't know. You have to go with your gut. Because four of cups is here and five of cups. It feels like not being satisfied with the outcome of things. So if you feel called to try this again, then so be it four of cups i would just say identify what you what's not working for you okay and there's a lot of things that need to be discussed with the king of swords queen of swords energy these two need to have a discussion these are two people that communication is very important to so there we go if this was your reading and you related to the rhino spirit energy and you like this let me know in the comments below and like comment or subscribe and we'll see you here in another reading so take care and all the best